So I've had the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air for over a week and I'm absolutely in love with it but with everything that you love there's always got to be a few downers too and what probably one of the main downers of this macbook air is definitely the price and how much storage you get for the baseline price you only get 256 gigabytes of storage inside this macbook air and if you're a person like me you can fill this up quite quickly and also if you wanted to get yourself a macbook air with more storage it does get quite pricey quite quickly and also you start sort of treading into that macbook pro territory too so there's got to be an easier way around that well the good news is there is and that is with sync who is the main sponsor of today's video and i want to talk to you a little bit more about sync and the great things that they do one of the main things that Sync wants to get across is that you can share things with your internal team. So if you have multiple users, for example, then you can set up an account and share files all between them. As you can see here, there's different sort of examples of things like this. But you can also work smarter, as it says here, with Sync Pro. So Sync Pro is the actual software or the actual sort of subscription I've got here on my MacBook Air I'm going to get. And as you can see, it says you can access your files anytime. As we just talked about, you can share and collaborate securely with anyone. You can also just like uh, pass things around to everybody really, really professionally and also securely here. And also everything is always kept up to date. So yeah, it's really, really useful. And also you can see it says transfer your desktop with Sync Cloud cloud files so this is really useful that you'll be able to even just transfer files over to your actual sync cloud and then you can actually access them on the windows computer or a different computer anywhere in the world which is really really awesome you've got the different plans here as you can see here so we've got here the solo basic solo professional team standard and also the teams unlimited so the teams unlimited is a really good one like i said it gives you unlimited storage for 15 dollars a month so so that is really, really awesome to have that with that. And you can also add some custom branding inside that too if you go for that unlimited. So as you can imagine, you can play around um, with everything here. And if I scroll down here, you've got the thing, the ability that you can stay safe with sync. It's all basically encrypted and everything like that. It's the latest encryptions. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download sync now onto my actual MacBook desktop. So I've actually got a copy. I've actually got the page open. So I'm just going to click on this. And it's actually just going to download it for me. And if I just open that up, you can see here I can just drag that into my applications folder. And basically... That is all in there and I'm just going to open up now um, Sync and it's telling me I've downloaded the internet. I'm just going to open that up and then what I can do is I can actually sign in with my account. So let me just do that now. So after signing up with the Teams Pro account, which gives me unlimited storage, let's see what that can do with that 256 gigabyte of storage that I've got built into my MacBook Air and basically making that unlimited instead. So let's have a go. So just to show you guys here, Sync has installed. But what has happened after I've installed this, I'm just going to show you here in Finder, is that actually you've got a Sync folder, as you can see here. So if I click on that, this is now a new folder where everything can be stored. So what I can actually do is I can actually just move things over into this. And this is automatically now just moving things into Sync. So for example, I've got a picture here. I've also got a graph here as well. And then obviously I've got one of my iPhone 15 concepts sort of videos that I've made and I can even move that here into sync and then what starts to happen is as you can see it's starting to sync over now and so with this then all my sort of bits and pieces are stored in this folder and I can access them at any time on this machine here as you can see look at that see the graph has already moved over we've also got that Mickey picture too is already gone and if I just click on this button here you can tell me it's taking me straight to that sync folder obviously what I can also do is I can make new folders inside here so let's say if I actually wanted to call this pictures if I can actually spell it and then let's say I wanted to move Mickey into there he can go into there absolutely fine and then obviously again everything that I've just done all just syncs across what is really really awesome and from this I don't actually have to store anything like on my desktop here and everything can just be stored in the sync and it's really really easy to use also anything that's stored in here as well can also just be downloaded so obviously it is going to keep a local copy for now but obviously I can get rid of that and just have it as a cloud copy and access files from there too 
So something else what I can actually do is with this MacBook Air here, I can actually sync sort of folders and files between say my other Macs that I have out there and also Windows devices too, which is really, really awesome. There is also the great ability to share links to, to other people so they can access my files in sync. Let me show you how to do that right now. So if there's anything I actually want to share with anybody, all I have to do is just go to the sync up here. And then all I have to do is just press on the cloud at the top. And then as you can see here, I've got my folder. I've also got my graph and I've also got my video. So say if I wanted to share something with somebody, so say this graph that I made here, I can just click on share here, share as a link. And as you can see here, it's encrypting the link for me. And then I have a choice that I can just copy that link out if I want to, or I can actually send it by an email to someone. I've even got the settings for the link too. I can even set up permissions, notifications, and things like this. I can even set up labels. You get the idea. I can even put a password on it too. What is really, really cool if I want to share this with other users too to have access to this. So it's really good that they can actually just get hold of the files, download them onto their machines too. It's really, really awesome. There are also a few other party tricks too. So for example, if you do have like an iPhone or even an Android phone, you can actually install the Sync app on your old phone here. And then actually you can, all the photos that you take and all the videos that you take, they can be backed up to Sync too. And then you can access them like on your MacBook Air if you want to, it's really, really awesome. And you can also do vice versa too. So you can actually use the app to have a look at some of your files and bits and pieces on your iPhone on the go is really, really awesome. I love the idea that also Sync is built into the Mac Finder. So this is just basically like the folder app. And as you can see here, you can just basically just move files easily into it. And you don't have to have like extra specialist software open over the top, overlaying all your programs with Mac Finder and also Sync too. Sync is all built into the Mac Finder, what makes it really easy and cool to use too. Just also a few cool facts here if you wanted to know. So all your data is also encrypted between Sync and also your MacBook Air if you have one of these or any of your Macs that you have out there and also to any of your other devices too. So that is really, really cool. And also as you're doing basically backups of all your data, what Sync will do automatically, you can also do version control too. So say if you did a backup or you did a file and you by actually deleted it, you can actually retrieve that file via Sync's website and get your old file back what is really really useful. So if you do want to get this unlimited storage you can check out Sync right now and the pro teams only cost you $15 a month per user to get you that full unlimited amount of storage and that definitely does work out cheaper than spending hundreds and hundreds of more dollars on getting more storage in your MacBook Air and also giving you that peace of mind that you can actually get your data back if your MacBook Air went missing or for, say for example you deleted files things like this and also that you can access your actual files elsewhere on a different Mac and also other PCs and do that sort of collab sort of bits and pieces. So that is really, really cool. So if you do want to check out Sync, definitely check out the link that I'm putting on the screen right now. And also this link will also be in my description too. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself a MacBook Air and also at the same time as well, get yourself Sync because it's absolutely fantastic. And on that note too, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And if you do want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.